everyone, how are you? I hope you're well and having a really good day today. My name is Marina and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you my top 5 holy grail makeup items. So these items I could not live without and I will repurchase every time they run out and things I think that everyone else should own because they are so amazing. This is also going to be a collab with a fellow YouTuber, her name is Kimberly. so I have a video linked in the description box down below. So this is going to be in no particular order, I love all these items the same and I'm just going to jump straight in. Actually I think this one is my most favourite out of all of them and I have not heard any other people talk about this product and it is the Body Shop All in One Face Base Double Function Powder. So it looks like this and it retails for £15 I believe um, but when it's on 3 for 2 I always get 3 for 2 because my mum uses this as well and we use the same shade just a little FYI um, and they've actually changed the shades now this one's in shade 5 but the newer have is in shade 55 but I think they've changed the formula to make it more um, kind of mineral so it looks nicer on the skin whatever I think they're both going to do the same thing to be honest um, so this is the packaging a nice little oval shape on the back it just says the number and the product and then you open it and you have a little sponge here which I haven't used to be honest and then you lift up the next bit and you have a mirror and you get the product so this one is quite yellow based which is amazing for my olive skin tone and this powder oh, Oh my god, it's the best powder I've ever used. It is so pigmented and literally finishes my face off beautifully. I haven't used it today. Um, if you would like to see this in a separate video, do let me know and I will do that for sure. I'm sure I probably have used it in a tutorial before, but when I want to look flawless and I want that full coverage look, I will use this powder because it is just fantastic. It lasts all day. It sets my makeup in place and it just gives the most flawless finish. So I 100% recommend this. It's great for travelling, it's really sturdy. It's got a nice button um, and it's not going to break on you. It is quite bulky for a powder packet. But I personally really like the packaging and like I said, I 100% recommend it. This is literally my favourite powder ever and I think everyone should own this, it's amazing concealer this is the bourgeois healthy mix concealer again another product which I don't hear anyone else talk about this has got an apricot for radiance and raspberry for I don't know micro circulation activator whatever that means and um, the only thing I don't like about this is the squeezy tube it's like a lip gloss tube um, I don't like that because you can't control how much product comes out. This is in shade 53 and they only do three shades. So this is the middle shade. I previously had the lighter shade which I use for highlighting. Which I will be purchasing again and I use this for my blemishes again. Amazing full coverage concealer. Like I have not found a better concealer. It's kind of similar to the coverage of Hard Candy Glamouflage. If any of you have tried that but it's not as thick kind of thing it is thick but it still feels kind of airy so if that makes any sense but I love this and I highly recommend it and I think it retails for about seven or eight pounds so it's not too expensive but I love this next is actually a recent purchase I think I only got this last month and I've already fallen in love with it and it is the NYX contour kit and this basically beats all the other contour kits I have. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and I have got the Makeup Revolution one. And I have the Sleep Contour Kit as well. But one of these shades is very, very, very similar to the Sleep one. So basically you get eight shades and I paid £16.20 for this. So this works out to be £2.25 per pan, which is pretty good. They're not the biggest of pans, it's like a kind of slightly bigger than a matte eyeshadow size I would say, um, but probably won't get through this too much. 
so the shades that I don't use are these two so we can disregard them I've been using the yellow for setting under my eyes and the areas that I highlight and then I've been using this shade as a bronzer and the rest for contouring this one is super dark so if you want to go all out and you do have a darker skin tone this one will just cut your face in half basically and this is the one which is similar to the sleek contour kit in medium I don't know if sleek has a dark contour kit but if so I imagine it will be very similar to this and I am in love with the sleek contour kit like it makes me face look amazing when I want it to um, I should have really used this one today but I didn't but I really really like it I think it's really great value for money and I would highly recommend this the packaging is cute as well so you can see what you're using next is a bit of a boring product but nevertheless it is a holy grail and it is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion which looks like this You've probably seen this all before I previously owned the wand packaging and then this is my latest bottle of just the normal I swear to god I have had this for about five years and I'm still going strong so I think these retail for 18 pounds each um, but like I said gonna last you a long time and I don't do my eyeshadow every day I will admit I probably only do it at the weekends because or a day I'm filming or something on my day off um, so not too much so I don't use every day but if I'm going out and I want my eyeshadows to last all day I will wear this this just keeps my eyeshadows in place stops everything from creasing and makes my eyeshadows pop sorry if you can hear the hoover so annoying um, but yeah 100% recommend this and they do different styles as well they do an anti-aging one um, one called Eden and one called Sin Sin is that bronzy one which looks gorgeous which I do need to purchase at Eden I think it's just I think it's more yellow based I'm not entirely sure but I have already bought a backup of this last November because I thought this was running low bear in mind it's like it's November now oh my gosh literally I'll link the haul where I bought my backup one in the description box below and literally this is still going strong from last November where I thought it was going to run out you get so much product in here it's unreal you get 11 mils um oh it's just amazing i absolutely love it the last product i want to show you is a foundation and i really wanted to put a foundation in here because foundation is a big deal for me it needs to last all day and it needs to be full coverage because i do have spotty acne skin so i actually have three foundations which i could mention and i feel I don't know, okay, one's, one is amazing, it is a holy grail, but it's not as good as these two, so I might just show you two, you know, whatever, because I actually can't decide between the two, um, but the first one is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup, this is in the shade Rattan, it's a really, really amazing match for my skin, it's very yellow based, which is perfect for my olive skin tone, the only thing I dislike about this product is that it doesn't come with a pump and if you're paying what 28 29 pounds for a foundation oh it stinks you want a pump with it because it's very hard to control it does smell quite chemically like it's not there but but let me tell you when I wear this <coughs> when I wear this I look ah uh, Amazing. and I literally need one coat of this like a lot of other foundations I have to do one coat and then another coat and then a coat on my blemishes but with this I, I'm good with one maybe I'll put a few extra dabs on just for a bit of extra coverage but overall it is the most full coverage foundation that I own and I absolutely love it um, it's got SPF 10 in so not sure how it would be with flashback um, I haven't actually personally tried that out, but um, yeah, I really like it. I love it. I will always repurchase this. This is my second bottle of it. The first bottle, bottle I actually bought off a fellow YouTuber, um, so there was only about half left because I got a sample of this and I hated it. I thought it was disgusting. And when I first used this, I really didn't like it, but then 
as I used it more and more I loved it and I still do love it to this day so yeah that's enough I've probably been rambling about this for about 10 minutes now but yeah so I really really love this foundation and then a quick sneaky mention just because I couldn't choose is the Clinique Anti Blemish Solutions Foundation and also the Clinique 2 in 1 foundation is amazing just got to throw that out there this is in the shade Fresh Vanilla which I don't think is the correct shade for me because Clinique aren't able to colour match apparently I've tried about three different shades and still haven't found the right one the only downside with this is all the shades I've tried have been very pink toned when I have yellow undertones so shade match isn't amazing the bottle is nice and sleek amazing for travelling this is my favourite packaging ever it's got a nice squeezy tube so you're not going to waste um, absolutely love the packaging and I do have acne so this is going to help I love this foundation, it lasts all day and it gives me the coverage that I need for my particular skin tone so this is amazing and I could not mention it and I was literally torn between these two but also the other Clinique foundation is equally amazing but this one does have uh, properties in to help acne so I just thought I'd mention this as I do have the acne skin so that is my top 5 or 6 holy grail makeup items please let me know what yours are and if you've tried any of these and what you think and make sure you try the concealer and the powder most people haven't and they just get like forgotten about but they're really amazing products so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to me make sure you do to see more of my videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye